So, what you will be using in this video is Multi-MC. Now, this is completely safe. I have it downloaded. So, what you want to go ahead and do is I'll have this link in the description. You're going to go ahead and scroll down. You're going to see Windows, Macro, um, the Penguin. I don't know. You can see all these downloads. You download what you need. For me, I have Windows. So, I'm going to go ahead and download this. I already have it downloaded. So, you're going to go ahead and save it. It is going to download a zip file. So, this is the folder that you're going to want to get from the download. This is the same one that I just downloaded. And you are going to take it and you are going to export files. Um, I am going to put this, though, in a different location. We are going to go with new folder. We're going to go with uh, Testa. And then we are going to go ahead and put that in test. And then you are going to export files. You can export files there, here, or somewhere else. And then you will go ahead and get this. And then what you want to do is you want to come to MultiMC. This is the, um, the launcher. You're going to go ahead and double click this. This will give you what you want. You can choose what language you want to do. And then you can go ahead and go to next. And you are going to choose. I recommend obviously where you want to have and this is the maximum memory you can change this in settings later on me personally i use 8k you can have what you want and this is where you can change your uh memory to start off with on how much you use so i'm just gonna leave it on default and then you just gotta finish and it'll go ahead and update so if you want to change your memory after you are done installing, let's say it's not running, you need a little more, you come in settings, and you can see here, all up top, you click Java, this is where you can change your memory again. So what you want to do is, since you're done with that, I'll also have this link in the description. You are going to take that link, you are going to copy, and then you are going to have to put it in your web browser. And um, once you click on that, it will give you this pop-up to download it. I have it downloaded already, so it's going to have that one. So you can go ahead and save it. Then you go up to add instances, and you are going to have to import zip, and then you are going to have to go to your downloads, and then you're going to have to go ahead and grab it. Okay. Now you have all that done. Now, one important thing that you have to have is up here, manage accounts, and then what you are going to have to do is you're going to have to trust this and give it your password and email for either your Microsoft or Mojang, whichever one you use. Once that's done, you can go ahead and play on the server, have fun. If you do not have the um, the the um, HT or whatever, that little front part, it will install a wrong one that will keep that pop-up, this pop-up that I've been seeing in the Discord pop-up a lot, and that's what personally made me struggle for eight hours trying to install and that's what constantly popped up or just disconnected and um yeah you can go ahead and sign in go ahead and play the server have fun thank you guys for sitting in this little short video on description for you guys not to waste your time and what took me so so long to do but um yeah well so much for watching i'll see you guys next time peace